Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Call of the Night episode number five. Yeah, episode number five reaction. Okay, the previous episode um we got to see uh more of Akira and after the episode before that of the kind of awkward conversation they had and how like you know uh Ko kind of went on his own way uh, leaving Akira behind to follow uh you know uh, uh to follow Nazuna that that like you know that was like a little awkward situation so after that the previous episode kind of resolved everything at the beginning we see Akira having like a um little uh not a good mood she was not in a good mood she was going to school the 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 color scheme in the anime in the beginning was kind of grayish it was not that bright and it kind of continued like that but in the end uh after she meets uh ko later on and when ko was like you know what let's go you know like you want to see where i like you know uh, hang out uh, let's go to nazuna's place and then they go you know to her place they play games and they kind of talk and even she even uh, sees how nazuna takes blood from him you know feeds on him and even ko tells her about what his goal is you know to fall in love with nazuna so that she can become a vampire all that stuff like you know they kind of talk about and then in the end uh like you know um, nazuna was like why don't you join us you know uh, and let's sleep you know the thing that we are here to we come here to do so they also lay down and here ko and nazuna have like a little conversation and she asks ko the most important question which is are you having fun and there you go that you know like when he said like yeah i am that's probably that was the thing that made her the most relieved because she genuinely was kind of concerned about ko because you know like she he suddenly like you know like a random person comes in and uh, apparently she's a vampire and you know like stuff like this happens obviously your good friend would obviously be concerned about you they'll be like what the hell is happening you know and so seeing this from looking like, in front of her eyes and you know she, she kind of got relieved and uh, her little gloomy like you know uh mood kind of went became better she actually fell asleep for like two to three hours i think or like four hours something like that yeah and then in the morning she wakes up and she's like goes out and we see the morning bright and it's not that gloomy color anymore it's bright and colorful and there you go so let's see what happens today um i'm guessing uh, from here onwards we'll see more of aquila so yeah all right let us begin i'll be putting the subtitles on the time i hear sync to whichever is a preference and let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go okay four what is four pm oh yeah it's quite i guess uh i was going to say it's quite bright outside for being 4 30 pm but yeah i guess it's probably summer or something Okay. All right, more video games. She's playing alone. <laughs> Son. 
What happened? Well, bad luck. <laughs> Typical gamer, you know. <laughs> wow. Damn, the, the... The doors, the colorful doors. Wait, what? Oh my god. Okay. It's 8 o'clock. When is, uh, I think Ko's going to come at, yeah, midnight. <laughs> Run it and hand. <laughs> wow. All right, let's watch some television. <laughs> These telemarketers. <laughs> okay. Well, there's an awful lot of people now. Like a certain someone I know. Oh, that's a cute cat. Aww. <laughs> Don't bite her. Okay. I wonder if... If Ko actually... Okay, never mind. I thought he was going to pop up. <laughs> it's, there's still two or more hours left. Oh, Komori, wait. <laughs> Some kind. Oh, this is a transceiver, it, isn't it? Yeah. For a moment, I was like, what was... Okay, yeah. That's the one that Ko gave to her. Wait, vampires take baths? Ah! I guess it's probably an urban legend how vampires don't like... Oh, there you go. There's no reflection. But what about water? Don't... Aren't they afraid of water or something? Goes here. Oh my god. God damn, that was abrupt. Well, her hair is out. <laughs> um, all right, calm down, dude. <laughs> she's <just laughs> now she's gonna get embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? All right. Oh, okay. Remember the bad stuff. Oh. Mm. Yeah. 
Hmm. Well, stressful. <laughs> yeah, very busy, huh? <laughs> Well, <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> well, <laughs> overrated. Um, over here? Oh, she he wants to reduce the blood flow in her ass face. <laughs> I think so, that's why he's saying now. Okay. Oh, assist. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, okay. So if he becomes a vampire, he'll realize that he... Okay, I guess that's another way of realizing. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, this is a lot. Yeah, okay, you should stop, I think. Um, yeah. No. What? Ooh, what? Oh, is that a is that a manga cap? What is that? No, is that a karaoke? Oh my god! I was thinking like, what the? <coughs> Which place lets the rest? Like, obviously, it's oh god. Vampire wannabe boy. Oh. Okay. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So yeah. She she's like, yeah, this is this is the best. Don't be lazy about your emotion.
Oh no, stop. Here we go. <laughs> Pressure. Oh my god, what? <laughs> okay. Hey, just watching anime. Hmm. Yeah, definitely. He's he's on the right path. Well, that's a problem. Okay. Oh my god. Here we go. Um Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> he was just thinking about it. Oh boy. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure half of the people has already died. Like, she, she's like, you know, she's. No, probably not. Uh, they, they never like, you know, stayed, I guess. What? Oh! Wait, what? What is a professional cut? Oh, wait! No! I think that there's like an actual job about this. Like, people who just... I'll talk about this later. It's kind of weird, but that's an actual job, I think. You know, people just... Wait, what? Just a second, let me read the... <laughs> oh lord. <laughs> yeah, obviously, I believe you. Yeah, I believe you. Oh my god. <laughs> um Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> oh boy. Hmm. Well, obviously, you're going to get arrested. <laughs> yeah. What? Wait. Bro. Oh, really? Oh. Ah. Okay. Oh, okay.
Mm. Oh. Interesting. Oh my god. Oh, Akira's here. Is is that Akira? Probably. And yeah, I don't either is it delivery or Akira? <laughs> who the who? Is that Wait, what? Um yeah. <laughs> How? He doesn't even know. Yeah. He's like, what the hell? You were not here before. Yeah. <laughs> what? For a moment, I actually thought that was Akira with glasses, and then I was like, no, it's not. <coughs> She's playing video games. <laughs> oh boy. Publishing company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're paying you money, you know, as well. Why? Um, I was thinking, where does it get she get the money from? <laughs> I have no money. Yeah, because Oh, that's that sounds good. Yeah, like he's not, he doesn't know how. I w okay. Uh yeah. The, the, <laughs> wow wait that's where it ends okay I, f I feel like this is the first time it kind of ended like in a to be continued portion you know like this is going to continue from the next episode I was wondering I was thinking like where did she get the money from you know she needs even if she doesn't need food that much She's actually living here, renting this place, probably. So, where, where, from where is she paying rent? So there you go, that's how she got her money.
And there you go. That's it. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so this episode, we begin with we kind of start with Nazuna in this episode when we see Nazuna kind of like you know sleeping and she gets up a second four thirty in the evening, and uh, uh, we see what she does when Ko is not there. First, she's just playing video games, you know, single player video games, <laughs> and as soon as she loses, like you know, <laughs> she's like, ah, oh, a crappy game. Who the hell plays this game? And just. It just puts off like you know the controller and everything you know typical gamer you know we all do this i'm pretty sure <laughs> like whenever we we lose or something it becomes the game's fault you know or the bad level design or something like that too difficult you know enemies so yeah basically i understand i i, I get her feeling so <laughs> she then she's like you know what what the hell am i doing here and she she oh no first she opens uh, the television and uh, no wait a minute oh no after that she's talking about the delivery that's going to come she's just waiting for that and she comes outside i need to read this part i didn't read it when i was reacting um you were not at home what you were not home at time off uh attempted delivery notice oh so okay okay so if you're not at home like they're, they're obviously they're unable to give it to you so they put one of these notices and they'll probably come back after a few days <laughs> and she's like i specifically asked for a time when i'd be awake because i'm asleep during the day but still it was like you know so she's like oh god and she goes back up and she's always like you know, looking at the time trying to like you know see what time it is because ko is going to come at midnight so it's it's like like 8 p.m. or something at that moment, and she's like, you know what? Let's let's do some cleaning and stuff, and uh, kind of like kind of just goes around a little bit, sits down, watches television, like like telemarketing stuff is just being shown. Oh my god, this this is kind of interesting because I do remember when I was a kid, uh, when it was like you know, I'm pretty sure this is the same for every child, like like i remember trying to keep awake at like I, I used to go to sleep at 10 p.m or something i think uh yeah so i used to try to keep awake at night i was like oh today i'll be awake at 12 p.m or something like that i'll be awake up until that time and i always tried and somehow i used to fall asleep the next day i was like oh damn you know not today today was not the day <laughs> I wasn't able to fall, like you know like stay awake and every day I used to try it and I wasn't able to like you know keep awake at all but obviously I that I feel like every kid goes through this and little by little when I was able to keep awake at 12 p.m. the telemarketing these like you know infomercials I think that I think that's what they're called telemarketing whatever they're called these used to come up and like you know at night and whenever it was like midnight and I just used to just watch them a little bit <laughs> And it was weird, like you know, like I, I, I kind of remember this. You know, it was very long ago, obviously, but I do remember brief snippets. And so yeah, like seeing these telemarketing, like nowadays I don't think anyone, like I'm, very few people, I feel like watch television. Like most of the people just, like you know, goes to the internet. And <clears throat> like it's been so long I've watched television, like like six to seven years probably. Like as soon as the internet came, like I stopped watching television completely and. So yeah anyways so kind of went on a different topic okay so um, she's like what the hell am i doing it's night i should go out and just like you know hang can move around and stuff so she decides to come out and uh, just starts walking and uh, i have to say today there was uh, quite a few people in the streets now uh, i do realize that all the time that we go outside it's like the middle of the night 12 pm that's probably why it's always empty you know and uh, you know like stuff like that um but today there was a few people but you know still there was a lot a lot like you know less amount of people just there and she starts <coughs> just <coughs> moving around and comes to like a park where she meets a little cat <laughs> she starts cuddling the cat just i thought the cat was gonna bite her or something you know <laughs> because stray cats are kind of like that you know they 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 then they're not usually accustomed to people touching them 
So either they run away or they kind of they kind of just growl at you or bite you or something. Uh, stray cats. So, but this cat was awfully, like you know, nice. I don't know why. <laughs> and she just she was just sitting down, and Nazuna was just having like a great time, just petting the cat, and you know. And I was actually thinking like maybe Ko would be actually passing through this part and he'll witness this. You know, Nazuna like you know doing stuff like like this, just like you know, cuddling the cat. I thought it would it would be something like that, but nothing that sort happened. She had her fun and then she was she went on his way. And she was like, oh my god, this cat stinks. Stray cat stinks so much. And she's like, you know what? Let's go and have a bath. And she goes to. Uh, a bathhouse which i'm pretty sure she is like a regular customer because the person in the reception he was like uh like he, i think he, he knew her she he was like oh okay yeah go ahead and she keeps the watch not the watch but the transceiver thing she's like if someone if this beeps tell me and she goes in now here i was kind of surprised i was like okay so she's actually not scared of water that means um you know what i need to check this are vampires scared of water because there's a lot of um animes shows i've seen where they actually specify how vampires are scared of water let me check vampires are scared of water or something like um uh wait 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 cross water okay okay yeah 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 you're right not they're not afraid of water they're afraid to cross water okay okay due to the sacred cleansing nature of water or some other nonsense that can be applied to rivers uh okay uh, wait what the is this someone wrote okay I, I went to a weird section of the internet never mind um okay so yeah so basically running water or like you know they cannot cross water something like that that type of a thing <clears throat> so there you go so yeah obviously if they're afraid of water how will they be alive like if they're afraid of water they cannot drink water that would mean so yeah that's that's wrong i, I was i, I was uh, like and I, I kind of made a mistake they're not afraid of water, but they're afraid of running water or they're afraid of crossing running water. Obviously, they're also afraid of holy water, like, you know, like crosses and garlic, um, steak. They're afraid of like, you know, like the vampire can die if they get their heart pierced with a steak, something like that, I think. So these are like the, the, the myths like, you know, re relating vampires. Oh, um, reflection doesn't, they have, don't have reflections in the mirror. So <clears throat> we see... <coughs> We see that just like we know like they don't have uh, reflections nazana also doesn't have reflection when she was in the bath we could see you know like in, in the mirror her reflection was not showing so there you go and uh, <clears throat> like we even saw this in, in one of the previous episodes i remember in the elevator he was she was standing there and in, in backside there was like a mirror and it was not showing anything so yeah i, I noticed that in one of the previous episodes so <clears throat> like like i said there's a lot of shows that kind of um like you know actually like you know follows these rules and there's a lot of shows that completely denies these rules and say oh these are all made up vampires are not afraid of any of these things so this is one of those shows that actually follows those rules i think you know so probably because i've i've not still not i'm not sure about that because i've not seen nazuna like like it'll be confirmed whether the, this show follows the rules if we see nazuna in front of a garlic like, I, I want to see how she reacts to it if she actually reacts to it like she gets scared of it or something then i'll be like yeah so this show will actually follow the rules of the vampires uh but if not then it's different so yeah i do wonder because she who knows like i've not seen like i'm pretty sure in the future there will come like maybe an episode where we'll see that like, she confronts it's like you know she's face to face with a garlic and then we'll see how she reacts to it or something like that but yeah anyways either way <clears throat> she's just uh sitting there and she's talking about how it's so inconvenient to not see your face you know <laughs> there's no reflection and at that moment the uh looking at the transceiver rings my god nazuna just comes out puts on the towel 
took takes the thing rushes out and i don't know when she put on her dress she somehow got out and is in front you know go in front of Cole standing at first Cole wasn't able to recognize her <clears throat> he's like wait who are you you know her hair is all down and everything <laughs> and she's like wait you don't recognize me i'm your friend <laughs> and oh boy she he's kind of getting like you know like uh, his heart is beating quickly and uh, she's like all right so <clears throat> i was actually in the bath and oh is like i've not been to like a bath for a long time so can we go and Nazan's like all right sure and they go to the bath and this time ko is alone in the bath sitting down and thinking about a lot of things and he talks about how whenever there she's in he's in a bath he starts thinking about um some good stuff bad stuff as well it kind of and it usually kind of stresses him out most of the time the first thing that comes to his mind is is it okay to keep doing this which is something that you know i feel like it's very normal for him to have this type of thoughts because technically he's skipping school he's like you know he's just moving around at night and just hanging out at night and that's what he's doing so rationally thinking obviously he realizes what he's doing is not something that like a middle schooler should do and it's definitely like you know kind of affecting probably his studies as well and the same time a lot of other things so he thinks about that and at the same time he also thinks that this is the like you know for a long time this is the first time i'm having actually fun i'm actually having fun and i'm so excited to <coughs> you know become a vampire and stuff like that so there you go like up until now his life was bland and just like you know boring he was not he was not having like you know fun and anything he was just he was just like all all the time bored and he was not having a good time but now he's having that good time and that's why he is like you know like he he, he doesn't want to give this away he wants to continue like this but at the same time she he's also thinking about like you know like this is actually something that he shouldn't do you know like skip school and all this stuff so like you know the rational part of his him is actually making him think of whether what he's doing is correct or not and that's stressing him out you know like so basically there you go and <clears throat> but obviously he wants to continue this so yeah and also another thing he's also a little bit like you know his feelings are a little bit different is he's kind of getting uh you know like his heart is beating quickly whenever he sees nazuna at this moment and he is like like oh this is also a change i was not expecting and one thing that's kind of he's kind of thinking about is is this love you know? like you know his heart is beating he's, he's kind of getting embarrassed and stuff so is this really that type of love that he is thinking about so what he does is obviously when he comes outside he's still looking at nazuna and kind of blushing so what he does is he's like all right you know like drink my blood that's what he tells nazuna to do then and there and to do he told Nazuna to do that because he wants to see whether his feelings are actually that he think it is or it's something different because he for, like you know at this moment he, he he's the person who doesn't he was never fallen in love he doesn't know what it is so he's confused as to what is happening you know like is this actually love or am i just like you know being a little bit flushed is it because of the bath my, my like you know uh, my blood you know thing is has heightened my blood flow or is it because i actually like her and he's thinking about that and he doesn't realize that so that's why he's like you know telling nazuna to suck his her, his blood because you know like it will probably help him to actually realize what he's feeling and understand you know like what he's feeling so he and also another thing like you know if, if he's actually in love with nazuna then he'll become a vampire which i feel like it's like one of the will be one of the most clearest indications and also like you know this also makes him calm down and stuff like that he was talking about when he like you know like um bites him and like you know sucks his blood so and yeah now the main thing that we should think about here is one thing we should always pay attention to in this anime is that he's a type of person who has actually not fallen in love so and at the same time we also saw in the previous like you know instance and i think episode one he talked about how he uh rejected a girl because he didn't even know what love is that type of a thing 
and uh, <clears throat> he know what it won't knows what it is theoretically but he's he's not for, felt it before so that's why he doesn't know which is love and which is not love so that's also kind of confusing him like in the previous few episodes we have been continuously seeing him mistaking that oh he has actually fallen in love in i think episode two or episode three I, I remember him like you know actually thinking that he has actually fallen in love with nazuna and that's why he was like oh like you know bite me like and i become a vampire but then he realizes that's not love you know so there you go he's he's confused he doesn't know that's why he's like oh like you know like take my blood and nazuna's like all right i won't be able to hand hold back you know this time and <laughs> takes a bit too much of out of him you know and uh, okay now he's like you know he's just tired and then oh boy like here they suddenly see like a little light where it's written to rest and for a moment i was like what the hell is this place at first i was thinking it was a love hotel or something but then i was like maybe not maybe it's a manga cafe you know, because you can also rest in manga cafe or uh, something like that so and then oh my god when they got in i'm like yeah there you go i was correct <laughs> <laughs> and Ko didn't realize what what it was unless and until he got in. Now here, uh, Nazuna kind of confronts him with his like you know like what, with what he's feeling, and she talks about how he she can easily feel what he's feeling. And up until now, he was feeling like you know confused and excited at the same time. And she talks about how you know like uh, she realized that Ko is probably thinking about whether. This is like you know, like you know, like or love or something like that. And at the same time, he was also feeling excited. So while sucking his blood, she realized what he was feeling. <laughs> and uh, okay, like now here he says one one interesting thing. He says like I I don't like this because I also think of you as a friend. So like you know. Even though my goal is to fall in love with you, I feel kind of weird, you know, thinking about you like that because you're my friend. And uh, you know, he says stuff like that. And I have to say, I feel like that's a very common um, feeling that he's talking about here. Like I've seen a lot of people have this thing about how, uh, you know, like these two are friends and like, you know, one person feels weird about liking the other person because they've been friends for so long that it's actually like a weird situation like even though they're they're very new friends here still i can understand what he's trying to say here you know and <clears throat> that's why even feeling attracted to her he feels weird about it because he doesn't know what to do with this and uh, yeah like this is like one of the most common things i feel like that actually happens to a lot of people you know, like a lot of people, especially who are actually good friends, who have been known each other for so long, and then one person suddenly actually feels a little attracted to the other person, and then they feel actually weird about feeling attracted to the other person because in their mind they think that oh they're good friends, but at the same time having these type of feelings for one's friend, they they cannot accept it that type of a thing, and you know like stuff like that. So I can actually understand what he's trying to say here, you know and uh, there you go he says but having those kind of thoughts about a friend it kind of feels really immoral there you go <clears throat> i don't really want you to know and obviously nazuna is very like you know cool about this very open about this he's like ah what are you saying like let's enjoy the night you know immoral is fine you know like we, you're you're coming out at night in the middle of the night and getting a blood sucked so yeah obviously <laughs> what else do you expect and she here talks about like the variety to the blood taste and she talks about how he should feel these emotions because that's what she likes about him you know that shows up in his blood taste and that's the unique thing about him and you know she says like since your blood is so tasty that's why we started this whole thing you know so there you go she wants him to feel all of this so that she can keep here we go so let me keep savoring the different emotions you have okay now yeah okay fun pain joy sadness everything you feel feel them for me <laughs> your flavor today was delicious as always okay there you go 
Now, after that, Nazuna starts fiddling with the remote and starts tries to watch television. And obviously, uh, I, I n- <laughs> it takes it takes even like for the television as well. They need money for it. Like, oh my god! And then they start like you know looking at the other infomercials and like anime and stuff. They start watching those. And uh, yeah, and that's where it, that part ends. The next part is where we get to see Nasun, uh, you know, go thinking about whether how she said that, oh, your blood is the tastiest, which would mean she has tasted a lot of other bloods before. And that's why he's like, you know, he's, he's like, how many people? And he also realizes, like, you know, this is probably jealousy that he's feeling, you know, but she, he can't even ask her directly. And while he was thinking about it, she just said like, oh, that guy, I think I've sucked his blood before. <laughs> and he's like, what the hell, what was I even like, you know, like struggling about? Like I could have just asked her. <laughs> nah. Oh boy. And then she, she's kind of teasing him after getting to know what she's feeling. And uh, he's feeling. And she, she says like, I've sucked blood from everyone, men, women, you know. And then he, she says, and now you're the only one. And he says that, you said now, then what did you do before? You didn't have someone like me that you constantly took blood from? Okay, this was also something I was curious about. Because um, I thought I was under the impression she just goes around just, you know, like, <laughs> sucking blood. But turns out, like, she probably did that as well. But at the same time, the, her main thing was the whole massage thing, you know, where she did. She lured in people to her place, you know, made them fall asleep and suck their blood. That's what she did. <laughs> and it was like a little, I guess, um, what do you call it? A little business for her as well. She used to earn money from it as well. Because people who cannot go to sleep, they used to come to her. And like she said later on, like if sucking the blood actually lets people go to sleep quickly. So they, they got results for it. And that's why she, they probably, she probably made it a business. And that's how she also earned money. So damn, this is like a win-win situation, isn't it? Like you, she sucks blood she also earns money <laughs> what <laughs> oh my god uh okay and okay so she she says that to go that yeah like obviously they're just like how i invited you to my place i also did that <laughs> go kind of you know oh boy now for a moment, I actually thought, I've seen a lot of other animes and stuff, like mangas, where vampires actually rely on blood packs. You know, blood packs from hospitals and stuff. I've seen a lot of anime, animes, or not animes, I think visual novels, animes, mangas, where they do that, you know, where the vampire is like, oh, you know where I get my usual supply of blood from? I cannot go attacking people. Here you go. Like, and then the refrigerator is like packs of blood. Which anime was it? Like, I don't remember. Like, there was a particular anime I remember, I cannot remember the name, but the person used to keep, like, packs of blood in the refrigerator. And whenever they used to feel, like, you know, like a urge, they used to go and suck the, like, you know, thing. I don't remember. There was a, an anime like that. I, I do get the feeling, but I don't remember the name. Either way, um... I was thinking maybe she did that or something, but no, she just <laughs> brought people in and sucked them. <laughs> now, she like, you know, br- brings her, him to the, his, her place and shows him the, like, you know, the, the thing, the, the different services they used to provide. Okay, and... Okay, so she says... <laughs> the name of the whole thing is Karl Buddy Nanaskusa. Standard cuddle cost 3,000 yen? What? Oh my god, what is this? Motherly indulgence course, 3,500 yen. Massage course, 4,000. <laughs> okay, wait, I do know there's an actual thing, you know? Um, professional, I think... Ah... Uh yeah <laughs> professional cuddler like um, <laughs> it's so crazy i actually saw this like in one of those like you know articles where it's written one of the most weirdest like you know occupations 
and there was like one of these like professional cuddler or something and i was like what the hell is that so there you go cuddlers do multiple cuddling sessions per day they typically make 40 dollars to 80 dollars per hour what <laughs> my god plus tips the hours are flexible and expenses are generally covered Pro providing a professional cuddling experience is a rewarding job will make a positive impact on people's life Oh my god, what? Alright, yeah. I was, I knew there, there was actually a thing like this, but I didn't know they actually made like 40 to 80 dollars per hour, per hour. Like imagine, 80 dollars per hour, what? Plus tips? What? Oh my god. Yeah, well, there you go. So obviously what Nazana is doing, is, yeah, it's nothing wrong with it. There you go. <laughs> now obviously I understand what they actually do is they actually kind of like for people you know like sleep is a very important thing I'm pretty sure that the reason why they charge so much is also uh, like you know because you know like for people sleep is such an important thing that uh, like I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people who have insomnia and for them like you know like professional cuddlers probably help them in that you know like they probably help them fall asleep and I'm pretty sure there's a lot of like, you know, like thought goes on into this. Maybe like, you know, the place where they go to sleep has like maybe like an aromatic, uh, like, you know, like a smell, like an incense stick or something, which helps them like, you know, fall asleep. Uh, maybe the ambience of the, like, you know, room is something which helps you fall asleep. Maybe there's like a small little music playing, which helps you fall asleep. And, you know, there's, a, there's probably a lot of thing that goes into this. And uh, yeah, like I'm just thinking like, oh, like they just probably sleep beside them and then they get like $80 an hour. Probably it's not that simple. I realize that obviously. And like I said, like insomnia is like a very big deal. Like sleep is one of the most important things for people. And when people are unable to sleep, that's crazy. I do know that. So yeah, like I'm pretty sure like, you know, that's why people actually go to these probably professional cuddlers who help them fall asleep. And for that they can they're ready to pay any amount of money because you know like sleep is very important it's extremely important we don't realize how important it is but people who have trouble falling asleep it's very painful for them and uh, yeah like it's it's like a weird very bad feeling like you're feeling tired but you cannot fall asleep like it's like the worst thing so there you go so yeah now <clears throat> She, like, you know, he, 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 he lies down and now he's like, I'll do this for you for free. And he, she starts massaging him and everything. <laughs> and I love the fact how he's, like, you know, always just, like, he's like, I'm not thinking anything dirty, you know. I'm not. I'm not. Definitely not. And, like, you know, Nazana comes in front of him and he's just embarrassed, cannot even open his eyes. And... <laughs> okay, she's, Nazana says that I just cannot ambush every people, you know, I see. So, uh, you know, like, that's why I learned the massages and everything, and that's how I do it. And he says, like, I'm sure the massage course was very popular, wasn't it? He's like, you can tell it's very obvious. <laughs> and she thinks about how he, she sucked off, like, and after that, the people fall asleep, and she sucked their blood. And she says, I know I'm probably more jealous than I think. Um, but that's not all. I want to learn more about Nazuna Chan. And there you go. That's that was what was bothering him up until now, you know, like because he doesn't know much about her. And he cannot just say that, you know, because it's embarrassing, obviously. <laughs> so yeah. Now she kind of tells him about different like you know, like notes and everything, like different pressure points where if they give like you know pressure, they'll It'll help them like you know fall asleep and everything like here this is one part and the leg i think she says another part another part is here in the neck and that's why she says that when you suck the blood you know uh, it helps you fall asleep quickly because of that like you know note over there probably and uh, that's why they fall asleep you know and she was almost going to like she was going to suck his blood at that moment probably feed for that day but yeah, suddenly like, the um, bell rings and she sees outside that it's one of the customers. For a moment, I, I was like, who is this? I thought it was Akira and I was like, no, it's not Akira. Like, like, I actually thought it was Akira. 
either Akira or the delivery person. I didn't really think that a random person would just, just pop up suddenly. <laughs> so he, she's like, oh my god, like I didn't, I forgot to take out the, you know, like thing, the sign. So she's like, um, okay, you know, like I cannot just let her go. So Kokun, you do the thing today. You know, I'm, I'm just going to go back to my room. And Ko is like, why? Like, you could just let her, like, you know, just go back, you know, like, just tell her to come the next day. And she's awfully persistent. She was like, no, 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 like, I cannot let her go away. You know, like, you, you come, like, you, know, you, you let her in and you, like, you know, like, you help her out. Now, I was wondering why she was being so awfully persistent. The reason why we get to know like, a little bit later why she was so awfully persistent to, you know, like, to, to do this. So, Oh, uh, like, you know, welcomes her in and obviously she's surprised. She's like, what? I thought there was a girl here. And I was surprised that she actually decided to actually take the massage course because, you know, like I, I felt she would be like, oh, you're not that girl. So, yeah, I feel uncomfortable to letting someone, you know, uh, of the opposite gender touch me or something like that. And she would, I thought she would probably leave because of that. But she, she just came in. She was like, all right, OK. And uh, she... You know like she was she went to the room and ko goes to nazuna's place and she's like she's inside like you know and she sees he sees her just gaming and okay now here's one thing is this girl going to be one of the supporting characters or something she has a name she says nazuna says kiyosumi shirakawa 24 years old two years in a publishing company a slightly tired office worker so oh, she has an actual background so I'm, gu I'm guessing she's like a supporting character or something who knows we'll see but either way she she gives the details to ko <laughs> and she's like i oh i think this is a pretty good deal for you isn't it and ko is like huh what are you even saying like you know you're acting li like that uh like you know like having that sleazy attitude is not okay when you are like the you know like the person who gives everyone the massages this is like a profession or something <laughs> And she's like, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I apologize. And uh, Ko is like, so why don't you go and give her the massage that she wants? And she's like, no, I will not because I'm tired. I don't want to. And I do wonder why she's so, one thing I don't understand, why was she telling Ko to give her the massage? Like, why was she, is it really because she's just tired and she doesn't want to do it? And she says like, listen, Ko, Okay, so here's the thing. The reason why she was she did not let the girl go away because this was her profession. She probably has a reputation here, and if she actually let someone go back, it would probably be a little bit bad for her. So that's why she didn't want to do it. That's why she was like, yeah, I like, I cannot let her go. And she probably had like an appointment or something like that. Probably she's like a regular customer, I think, from the looks of it. So that's also another reason why she decided not to do that. Like, I understand that, but I don't understand the part where she is like, I'm not going to give the massage, you do it. Is it really because she's tired? I don't know. But either way, um, she says, like, you know what, this is my job, you know, like, this is how I make money. And I don't have any money because I don't do this anymore because I've been spending all the time with you from here onwards. And that's why, you know, like, you, you help me out. <laughs> and she says, like, I'll also compensate you, you know, like half of it. Half of the money you're going to get 2000 yen you know and uh, yeah like the massage course is 4000 yen so he'll get 2000 yen and go kind of changes his tune he's like oh i'm gonna get money okay then maybe <laughs> and then she she's like you know what i'll make this even better you know like uh, I'll, I'll give you a kiss if you are able to do it if you do it and here this is where i think I don't know what she'll actually do. Is she really going to do it? But because I feel like Nasuna is a person who keeps his promises. So I don't know. We'll see. You know, because. <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't see like, you know, like, what can I say? Like. I was. Oh, but I, I guess I was going to say she's embarrassed at like, you know, very small things. So but then I realized she's not embarrassed and actual like, you know, she's embarrassed in the small little, like, you know, um, embarrassing conversations that's what she's embarrassed about she's not embarrassed to actually like you know like kiss him or something because she already did it in one of the previous episodes so she's not embarrassed for that so yeah I, you know what i can actually see him her doing this and and she's not the type of person to break a promise so i'm, I'm guessing she'll actually she is actually going to do it if ko is able to complete the mess, massage properly 
So there you go. And uh, yeah, and that's where it ends over there. So the next episode, I'm guessing we're going to see, you know, a whole massage and probably after that, we'll see more. So there you go. That was it. And uh, yeah, another great episode, you know, uh, this episode, uh, this, this show is very calming, you know, like you could say like a very nice little, um, you know, it's like a very slice of life. Obviously, this is a slice of life show, but at the same time, it has this weird vibe to it, you know, like uh, since it's usually happening in night. The visuals and everything and the whole vampire theme with this whole uh like you know like very calming slice of lifey uh you know like atmosphere it's it's a weird mixture of everything which i really like and uh, yeah this is this is great so there you go that was it this was my reaction to episode number five of the call a call of the night if, if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed and comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out and that is it guys thank you for watching i'll see you guys next week with another episode of call of the night until then goodbye and have a nice day